Good morning. Today we're going to look at simple and complex sounds. The sound produced by a tuning fork is considered to be a simple sound, whereas the sound produced by a ukulele is considered to be a more complex sound. To analyze sound, we'll be looking at the frequency that the sound produces. So let's roll a video and investigate the frequency of a tuning fork. Tuning fork, 1024 hertz. Notice that for the most part, the tuning fork produced only a single frequency at around 1024 hertz. Simple sounds consist of a single frequency. Now we're going to use another type of software that looks at sound from a different perspective not from a frequency perspective, but from the perspective of time. So the x-axis will be our scale of time. The y-axis will be the scale of amplitude. The louder the sound, the higher the signal will be on the y-axis. Let's roll the video now for the tuning fork. Notice that for the most part, a simple sound consists of a sine wave. And so simple sounds consist of a single frequency. And that single frequency produces more or less a sine wave. Now we're going to analyze the sound that a ukulele produces. Let's roll the video. Notice that for a ukulele, it does not simply consist of a single frequency. In fact, it consists of many different frequencies. These frequencies share a mathematical relationship. As you can see from the graph, they are multiples of each other. In other words, the second frequency here is two times this first frequency. And the third frequency here is three times this first frequency. And this fourth frequency here is four times this first frequency. These multiple frequencies are called harmonics. Now let's roll a video of the scope that's produced for a ukulele. Notice that complex sounds consist of multiple sine waves all added together. It's no longer just a simple sine wave. Instead, it seems to be that there's multiple sine waves. And so complex sounds consist of more than one frequency. As a result, when looking at the second graph, it's much more complex. It's no longer a simple sine wave. So what about our voice? Is our voice simple or complex? In other words, does it produce a single sine wave or does it produce a pattern as we can see here? Well, the answer to this question is, it really depends. So I'm gonna whistle and then I'm going to sing a note and you'll see which one is simple and which one is complex. So here comes the whistle. As you can see, the whistle is, for the most part, a simple sound. It produces a single frequency. Now, there are some other frequencies here and here, please note, but they're so tiny in comparison to the main frequency here. Now, let's listen to my voice. And as you can see from the graph, our voices are an example of a complex sound because they consist of multiple frequencies. And these frequencies, as I mentioned previously, they are called harmonics. And what does a harmonic mean? Well, if we compare this frequency value to
to that frequency value, you can see that this frequency is twice that frequency. And if I compare this frequency value to that frequency value, this frequency value is three times that value, and so on and so on. And so a few moments ago, I mentioned to you that a complex sound consists of multiple sine waves all added together. And so if you're interested in learning more about that, please watch the next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.